What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Hot Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the free channel collective reading. Cut to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. Okay, so I received a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, someone is about to report a very, very illegal, illegal dark web hidden camera business of the past to the Federal Trade Commission. They did not in the uh, past, and they're about to. Um, that's what I heard. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Someone's about to report a very, very illegal hidden camera business, I heard of the past so it's not up and running right now but it it was in the past um to the federal trade commission um it sounds like they didn't report it in the past but they're about to now but this business this uh, somebody some kind of hidden camera business somebody implanted a hidden camera like secret 7s type energy they implanted a hidden camera and was leeching off of people um through a hidden camera basically um i heard dark web business so it was on the dark web in some shape form or fashion um and obviously whoever they were filming did not know they were being filmed person people place family etc they did not know but they were profiting off of them um, but whoever it is wh uh, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to they didn't report it in the past but they're about to so the federal trade commission and i've been i pulled in a lot of federal trade commission energy a couple months ago confirmation from intuitive kitty Come on, baby. Bad boy sitting right here. So the Federal Trade Commission, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically you report, it, it's online. You can go online and make a report. Um, www.ftc.gov, for anybody who doesn't know, in the United States. Now, other countries, I don't know what it's called. I'm sure it's probably called something else. But in the United States, it's www.ftc.gov. You go in there, you can make a report. Um, but that's the Federal Trade Commission website. But anyways, so it's either you about to report this or someone you're connected to, excuse me. But it's some kind of illegal business of the past. And Federal Trade Commission reporting basically is scams, fraud, scammy, spammy activity, frauds, identity theft, illegal businesses, i.e. secret 7S type energy. Um, things of that nature. Um, you plug it in however it resonates. Um, if it resonates, I'm on the Federal Trade Commission website right now, so I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything. Yeah, fraud, identity theft, illegal businesses, um, things like that, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, this could be you about to report this or someone you're connected to, but they it's it's a past business so it's not up and running right now. Maybe somebody found the hidden camera and they plucked it out of their space. Um, maybe the hidden camera got damaged. I don't know um, why it's not up and running anymore, but it's not. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Number 15 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 15, appreciation. And a very significant high vibrational air sign, high vibrational nail air sign is about to divulge information on a hidden camera that was in a feminine energy's home in the past to a very high vibrational water sign energy very soon. It is about to blow the lid on certain individuals in a workplace situation soon. Whoa, holy crap. And so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, and um, a very high vibrational nail air sign. So Gemini Libra Aquarius energy nail. They're high vibrational nail. They might not have been high vibrational in the past, but they are nail. This could be you high vibrational air sign or someone you're connected to, but some kind of high vibrational air sign energy, masculine or femme air sign energy. Um, I heard it's going to reveal some very important information about a secret hidden camera that was placed in a feminine energy's home in the past um, to a high vibrational water sign energy. 
Mass North End Water Sign Energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio Water Sign Energy. Heard it's going to blow the lid on a workplace situation soon. So um, this high vibrational, if you are the high vibrational air sign energy, you're about to reveal this hidden camera that was placed in a feminine energy's home in the past. It sounds like you're about to do this high vibrational air sign, high vibrational masculine or femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy to this high vibrational Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme. Um, I didn't hear if it was masculine or femme. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio masculine or femme energy. Heard it's going to blow the lid on a workplace situation. So something is going was going on in a workplace situation or was going on now in a workplace situation, but it involves this poor feminine energy being foyered and energy sucked through a hidden camera in the past, um, in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, number 15. But kudos to you, high vibrational air sign energy to the high vibrational water sign energy. Kudos to you. Um, and you, and maybe one of you guys is about to report this. Uh, illegal business of the past to the Federal Trade Commission because you're both high vibrational. So you might be the ones about to report this illegal business of the past to the Federal Trade Commission. Or it might be somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Appreciation, number 15, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 15, a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social card number, possible green card number, number 15, appreciation. Someone is about to realize a feminine energy speaks the truth. They're about to really, really appreciate it. And pay it forward. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. I heard someone is about to realize a feminine energy speaks the truth. And they're about to really appreciate it and pay it forward. So this could be you appreciating that a feminine energy speaks the truth. I think for some of you guys, you might have been lied to in the past and said this feminine, maybe from somebody else and said, oh, no, she's lying. Oh, no, she, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Blasey, blasey, blasey. But it sounds like you're about to learn that she does speak the truth. Um, it sounds like there's some kind of upcoming series of chain events you're about to learn this. Um, I don't feel you've already learned it. I feel you're about to learn it if this resonates for you. You're, um, you're about to learn it. And I heard you're about to you're about to really appreciate it, and you're about to pay it forward, pay it forward to this feminine energy. So you're about to appreciate because we have appreciation card. You're about to appreciate that she really does speak the truth, so she doesn't try to manipulate um, person, people, place, family, situation, etc. She just tells you how it is, straight up to the point, the truth, and you're going to really appreciate that. I.e., you're going to pay it forward to her. Um, now, however, you're going to pay it forward to her. Everybody's on different time and life paths. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So how in the world you're going to pay it forward to her? For some, I feel it could be the reporting to the Federal Trade Commission. Maybe she is one of the ones that had a hidden camera in her home and, on the dark web. And you're going to report it to the Federal Trade Commission. For some, it could be paying it forward to her in other ways. You plug it in however it resonates. I don't feel that, I just want to say, and I didn't hear this, but this is just my deductive logic, reasoning, intuition. I don't feel this is someone like, like a spouse or a partner or something, because you know them, you know them, you know how they interact, you know how they are, um, or you, you should, if they're a partner, like a live-in or a spouse or committed or something like that. I feel it's somebody else. It's somebody else you either have been connected with, you are currently connected with, or something of that nature. Um, I don't feel somebody that's like currently in your energetic space, if that makes sense. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But um, you're about to really appreciate that she speaks the truth and you're about to pay it forward. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It could be you high vibing air sign or you high vibing water sign, um, possibly. Because y'all are very significant in here. You plug it in how it resonates. Experiments are just you have to put in. Now, however you're going to find out, she really speaks the truth. It could be um, through um, other people. It could be through video camera evidence. It could be through um, uh, reports of a, something to do with a hidden camera in a feminine energy's home. Maybe she had the hidden camera in her home in the past. Um, 
I, I'm not sure. Everybody is on a different time of life path, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we have woman holding a coin upright and the thinking woman reversed. Number 42 or 47 could be very significant numbers in one's life, 42 or 47. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 42, 47. Woman holding a coin upright. This feminine energy is a wonderful manifester, but has had many, many roadblocks in her path due to jealousy and negativity. However, they're about to be removed very soon through many shocking series of chain of events. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Well, this is beautiful. So we're pulling this feminine energy in very strong. I feel this fem energy could be you or somebody you're connected to. You have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. Are you these people? Are you the fem energy? Um, are you the fem energy that had many roadblocks in their way in the past? Are you the person that had the hidden camera in your home in the past that somebody's going to Federal Trade Commission report on? I mean, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But um, I heard she's an excellent manifester. I think you know she's an excellent manifester or you're about to learn she is. And um, basically, um, but I heard she's had many delays and roadblocks in her way. But soon the delays and roadblocks are going to be removed. So woman holding a coin in this aspect is her being an excellent manifester. She really knows how to um, manifest. And in this case, it's money. Because you can manifest many things. Love, love connections, um, money, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In this case, it is money. She's holding a coin. Um, but you either know she is or you're about to find out she is. But however that resonates, people have been purposely placing roadblocks and delays in her life, basically. So she can't manifest money. That's exactly what it is. So, they can, so she cannot manifest money. So she cannot live up to her full potential. Um, but soon I heard the roadblocks and delays are about to be removed. And one particular feminine energy is about to really, really manifest wonderfully with a settlement, a huge settlement. And one feminine energy is about to really, really connect with EEOC. It's about to really, really benefit them. One, they are in an organization, a company. One, they have been discriminated against many times in the past. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So we have at least two people about to connect with the EEOC. I pulled that in in the last reading. EEOC is basically employment. Um, I'll, I'll look it up. I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but I'll look it up so everybody's on the same page. Employment, something, something. I'll look it up. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission uh, is the EEOC, EEOC, um, Equal Opportunity Employment Commission. So basically, it's, um, it's an uh, organization help to help to combat discrimination in workplace, basically. It's help, it helps to combat discrimination in workplace, um, workplace situations. But there's at least two feminine energies about to connect with the EEOC. One is in a company and organization. One, they have been discriminated against many times in the past. Um, so they're either going to free willingly connect with the EEOC or the EEOC is going to connect with them. I'm not sure I didn't hear that part. Um, but somehow there's going to be connections made with the EEOC, Employment, um, Employment something, Opportunity Commission. Equal Opportunity, no. Equal Employment, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Um, so whether the EEOC is contacting them or they are contacting the EEOC, I heard it's really going to benefit them in huge ways. So the person about to connect, somebody's about to connect in an employment situation with the EEOC. That's going to really benefit them, their company or them or the situation or what have you. It's a feminine energy currently in a 
employment situation in a company, uh, in an organization, etc. And a feminine energy that has been discriminated against many times in the past, connecting with the EEOC. Now, like I said, whether you are the ones about to connect with the EEOC feminine energies or the EEOC is about to connect with you. Energy is to be reversed. So you have to plug in your life however it resonates, if it resonates for you. Um, and one person is about to get a huge settlement soon, and they're about to have huge manifestation. So it could be a huge settlement from the EEOC, or it could be a huge settlement from something else. However, that plugs in. But um, that's the manifestation. That's money manifestation right there. Money manifestation all over the place because um, they're about to receive some kind of large settlement. Now, I've been pulling, out, pulling in a lot of large settlement energy in here recently. I have um, somebody's about to receive a large settlement from a city. Somebody's about to receive um, some kind of inheritance, um, will energy. Um, somebody was uh, going to receive one from a lawsuit from um, sexual harassment. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And then now we have EEOC energy in here. The thinking woman reversed. Someone is really going to try to cover their ass soon. Feminine energy and a masculine energy. But it's not going to work because other people really know the truth. And significant video camera footage in some of these situations is going to be significant. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular masculine and feminine energy is going to try to cover their ass soon. Now, I heard video camera footage is going to be significant. So it's something in an, um, I think we're pulling an EEOC energy, so probably workplace situation or a public space energy. How that resonates. But it's not, it's not in a home with hidden camera, dark web energy. It's either in a public space or workplace situation, how that resonates. Um, but I heard a masculine and a feminine energy is going to try to cover their eyes soon, but it's not going to work because other people are going to speak the truth. So you might be the other people about to speak the truth or um, um, because they're going to try to cover their ass. So try to make it look like they wasn't the bad guy or they didn't do what was said they did. However, that resonates, um, they're going to try to cover their ass in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard it's not going to work. I think you, maybe it's you, or somebody you're connected to, is going to be the one about to speak the truth. Like, the real truth, nothing but the truth kind of energy. Um, straight shooter kind of energy. So, you're not going to think twice about it. You're going to just speak the truth. And I heard in some of these situations, hidden camera, I'm um, not hidden camera, I'm sorry, um, video camera footage is going to be very significant in, um, in these situations. So video camera footage of a public space or a workplace. and But I feel a lot of these situations, it is actually workplace because of the EEOC energy. And that's employment, protecting the rights as an employee, basically. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates. But I don't think, if you're the one about to speak the truth, and basically these two, at least two, it might be more than two people in the universe trying to cover their ass because they know they did something out of line or... They lied on person, people, place, situation, etc. Um, I think you might be the one about to speak the truth. Um, whoever you are, masculine or feminine energy, and you're not going to think twice about it. You're um, just going to do it. You're not going to sit there and contemplate about it. You're just going to speak what you know, if that resonates. Um, and some of these situations, video camera footage is going to be significant. So I feel somebody, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, about to pull video camera footage of this public space going on or this employment situation space going on to see the real truth for yourself because you can't refute video camera footage you can sometimes people can lie they can lie with the words coming out of their mouth to cover their ass but you cannot refute video camera footage and that's just the truth um you can't refute the video camera footage because that's really what happened but you can when you speak to people they can lie to you to try to turn it in their favor, um, if that makes sense. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Well, I mean, but it's, tr it's the truth. It's the truth. People do lie. They try to turn, they lie 
out of their mouth because they know, especially at, some people, they lie to try to turn things into their favor. But if you, if there's some, obviously in some of these situations, there's video camera footage. Well, you can't refute the video camera footage. And that's just the truth. All right. Well, I'm getting off of here. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And namaste. Oh, wait, hold on. Many shocking series of time events are going to occur with the reporting of the Federal Trade Commission dark web business of the past. It's going to happen quickly now. Quickly. Know this. It, there was a report in the past about this, and it did not go anywhere. It's going to go fast this time. Oh, my God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa. So apparently there was some kind of report to the Federal Trade Commission in the past about this dark web, hidden camera business, a hidden camera place in somebody's home or space or what have you in the past to the Federal Trade Commission. But I heard it didn't go anywhere. But I heard this time, whoever's, if you are the one about to report to the Federal Trade Commission, I heard it is going to go somewhere and it's going to go fast. So you plug it in, however it resonates, if that resonates for you, um, if you're the one about to report. Or maybe you're the one that had the hidden camera in your house and somebody's about to report for you. Um, or you're going to report if you found the hidden camera. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices. Namaste.